All right, so I'm gonna try and make a video. Um, this video is gonna explain how I beat Koopa Island. Uh, it took me five days of trying to beat this level, so now that I've done it, I can try and explain um, the different methods or like my thought process of how to approach uh, each section. So let's let's get it going. I Oh, the way this for the the format of this video is we're gonna watch um, the video that I uploaded of me beating the level, and then we'll pause it every once in a while, um, and then I'll explain how I beat certain sections. All right. So first off, uh, in Koopa Island, one of the most important fundamental things you have to know how to do is pop out the Koopa sh uh, body towards the right direction that you want it to go. In most cases, almost every Koopa body, you want to pop out to the right. So in order to do that, you have to jump on the left half of the Koopa, and then it forces the body to pop out to the right. Um, yep. So um, for this section at the beginning, I do it very differently from what other players do, um, because I'm trying to save as much time on this part and get consistent at this part. Because this part's actually uh, generally pretty easy, uh, and I want to spend most of my time getting to the difficult part where there's more variability in whether I pass or not. So this first section, I just long jump everything, and um, yep. So I jump on the left of that one, jump on the left of that one, uh, Koopa, and then pop the bodies out to the right. Uh, this section right here, uh, I intentionally aim for the right section of this Koopa body and I'm trying to jump uh, get here so I only have to go uh, I'm not having too much momentum going to the right because the more momentum I have going to the right it means I'm more likely to hit these two spikes I, when I get to this section this jump here and I jump up and down uh, off of this Koopa I mainly want to be traveling more vertically than horizontally. And you can see I hit perfectly this gap right here. And I learned that the less that I do, the, left, the less left and right motion I add uh, into this section here, the better off I am. Um, before, when I f was first starting, I would freak out and push left and right a lot, and then my mo momentum would swing a lot, like speeding up a lot or slowing down a lot. So now that I'm going more vertically because I started my jump here, and I'm, I have a more vertical uh, trajectory, uh, the main thing that I have to worry about is letting go of the jump at the right time. If you jump too high and you hold the button, uh, the jump button too long, you get killed by this top spike. If you jump too low, you won't get the height you need to get onto this platform here. So you can see uh, I made it with pretty good height. Um, this section right here is actually the first of two sections that were really frustrating for me. Uh, and just by um, aiming my initial jump here uh, and having less sideways momentum, that way I can focus more on the vertical height um, that really improved my success rate for this section here. So this next section is actually uh, relatively straightforward. Uh, the only hard part here is this blind drop here. You don't really know where you're gonna fall, but if you watch this video a few times, you can see where the Koopa body lands and where you need to land uh, when you're falling down. I do a short hop here because I'm trying to save time. This guy, um, I try and hit as late as possible and closer to the right. Um, and then for this section right here, after jumping off this body, you just have to know to land in this spot right here. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the reason why that left section, I try and um, hit this Koopa shell, let's let's back up a little bit. Um, I, I want to hit this guy as high as or as late as possible and hit this Koopa right here as late as possible to give the spring that's falling from above up here time to hit this shell. But for the most part, you don't really have to worry about it. Um, 
even this time, um, I, the shell made it to me, uh, actually traveled to me, and I, I ended up hitting it up here. But typically, if you land right around here, you'll be all right, uh, and the shell will come to you. Whoa. That's never happened. Yeah, I freak out because I, I've never hit the shell midair. Okay, so for this next section, um, I come in at more of an angle starting from here. Uh, I bounce off this Koopa, do a medium height hop, and then hit the front half of this Koopa right here. Um, but before that, you notice in the previous jumps, I always did a short hop and I followed the Koopa body down. But this time I did a, a full hop. And the reason for this is there's this section um, over over right about here where for some reason if I do a short hop, I fall through this Koopa body and I it glitches out for some reason. So right here, full hop, um, come in at a slight angle or like a pretty decent angle, do a medium hop, hit the front of this Koopa, and then uh, push up against the wall and then land on this Koopa as it's flying up. So let's watch that all together again. That's never happened before. Great. So that's the second uh, part of the level that sometimes would be really frustrating just because of that glitch where I would fall through the Koopa body and just die for no reason, uh, for no fault of my own. So <clears throat> this is the third section. And setting up, um, I start right about here, and um, <clears throat> you can see where the uh, the little music box is. Uh, so when you hop off this guy, you want to aim a little bit further uh, out uh, to try and line up with this music box. So this section, you want to make sure to hit each one of the Koopas to give time for this body to pop out. Yeah. Alright, <clears throat> so this is the, the third really difficult part, is right here. So you have to get enough height, and it's almost pixel perfect, where you have to pretty much be touching the spike, at least for when I was doing it, I couldn't find a consistent way to do it, but it was just try, try after try after try. And um, I have to let go at the very last second because if you jump too high, you hit the spike. If you jump too low, you don't make the jump over here. You don't get up to this platform. So I was extremely happy to be able to get up to this point because um, it's, it's a very low success rate, at least for me. Yes! And you can hear uh, I'm, I'm crazy happy. So this box you can either hit first as you jump up onto the Koopa shell the first time or you can bounce and then hit it the second time. It doesn't really matter. And then here, um, there's two paths you can take. Uh, I think most people follow the arrows and uh, I, I realized that was really not fun. Um, so uh, I actually... Uh, after a couple of tries, realize you could just hop to the left and then make this gap up here. Yes! Bam. Yes! Done. It also saves you time, probably. I can go to sleep now! And then after you beat it, you can go to sleep. One other thing that I missed, I forgot about, all the way back here. Um, if you didn't notice, I stopped right here. Because that this spot right here um, gives me the right uh, exact right momentum to hit the front half of this Koopa. Yep. So that's uh, that's my tips for beating uh, Koopa Island. Good luck. Uh, if you attempt it, my recommendation is don't even bother trying because it's not fun. Um, but if you do, uh, kick butt. Um, and if you would like, follow me on Twitch. Uh, my username or my handle is highallen underscore let's play. Uh, and uh, send me your levels and I can try and beat them too. Um, my favorites are the Super Mario World uh, levels that are puzzles. So uh, 
I'm probably going to do less and less of these really technically difficult levels. Okay, bye!